Imagine like waking up from a nap. <laughs> you wake up from a nap, you know, like, how long did I sleep for? And look at your clock, and it's like 1.45 in the afternoon. <laughs> how confusing would that be? What is going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel and here to another video. All right, so for today, I need to go out to go uh, top off my GT with some E and then my gas jugs with some E85 also as well. But it'll be a little bit different of a POV style drive. That is because today is the solar eclipse that takes place this afternoon around 1.40 or so for the path of totality when it hits total darkness around 140 to 145 or so but so right now it's pretty sunny outside but around the time that it's supposed to start it's supposed to get a little bit cloudy so i don't know how well we're going to actually see the eclipse but nonetheless it is going to be completely dark around that time and that's going to be around the time i need to go get some e in the car so we're going to do a little bit of a pov style drive I'm gonna drive, gonna go pick up my wife, and then from there we're gonna go get some E85. Um, and just kinda hopefully not get into too much traffic, cause I know tons of people are coming in from all over to see the eclipse. And if I didn't have to go get some E85 for my car for, for the week, I would just stay home, but it needs gas. So we're gonna go do that, and it's gonna be quite an interesting drive. I've never in my life experienced a completely total eclipse and the next one we're not going to have till 2044 and that's not even going to be here in Texas so nonetheless let's go start the car and uh let's go get to me but real quick if this is your first time watching and you're not subscribed please do me a favor hit subscribe drop a like and a comment I would greatly appreciate it all right let's get a cold start So far so good, the sun is still out. Hopefully hopefully it stays this way during the eclipse. As you can see the sun, there's like a few like high clouds and stuff, but hopefully the sun stays out so you can actually, for your viewing pleasure of the eclipse. But uh, man, traffic is supposed to be pretty crazy. People are coming in from like all over, like tens of thousands of people. Uh, Texas Motor Speedway is doing like, uh, viewing party i don't even know how you have a viewing party for an eclipse i don't know how you have a party for that i don't know but they're having some kind of event over the speedway and just everywhere in and around the path of totality for the eclipse uh, hopefully i don't get stuck in anything crazy with traffic and people everywhere because that's not my kind of idea of a fun time so there are signs posted up like over their freeway overpasses and stuff uh, telling you not to stop on the freeway during the eclipse. The simple fact that they have to make a sign on the freeway telling you not to stop during the eclipse. Anyone that does that, I don't know. There's a reason why they make those signs. And those type of people go to the voting booth and vote the people that would stop on a road or a freeway to watch the eclipse those people vote think about that I, right there in front of me that's a that's a hellcat charger right in front of me just pulling out in front of me no two-lane roads though so i can't have any fun but maybe i can this road, it doesn't open up to a two-lane road. It's only a one-way road, but I saw the guy pull out in front of me. Henry, if you're watching this, uh, if you want to get back into having like a real car again, like a V8, uh, that's not a Mustang. Uh, and if you decide to get a Hellcat again, 
get a charger. You got the four doors that got room for both kids and the wife. And uh, plenty of space. And you have a Hellcat again. So if you get a Hellcat again, get the charger. And then I'll put spray on this thing and I'll gap you. In about a mile or so, it's going to open up to about two lanes. And hopefully I can get alongside this Hellcat that's in front of me. But I don't know. We'll see what he wants to play a little bit. Doesn't want to play. Is that the wide body? Gapped him. Didn't even stand a chance. Look at that. Got beat by an N.A. Coyote. Alright, can't do without... Gotta have the glasses. Gotta have the Eclipse glasses. Just look how damn beautiful that Grabber Blue is in the sun. Grabber Blue Metallic, in my opinion, there's not a better color on a Mustang. Grabber Blue black knight pony package it's the best combo so there are people standing outside trying to view the start of the eclipse because apparently it just started i guess but you can't even tell yet because it's just barely blocking out the sun we have like another hour or so until it's like totally dark but they walked out they had their you know their eclipse glasses on and then they i don't know people are still doing this but they had on their masks like their covid masks are people still wearing masks man she's got her glasses on she's trying to it's not gonna work with your actual sunglasses you gotta take your sunglasses off no i can see it with the sunglasses <laughs> it's like they're half it's like my earring shape right now So by the time we get to the gas station, it'll probably be total darkness. So hopefully we can hopefully we can get to the gas station in time. <laughs> it's just crazy because it looks like the moon. Because it's like how it's because of how it's, it's shaped. shaped. Yeah, yeah, yeah. about 15 minutes away and you could tell it's getting the next one. this one here yeah it's getting pretty dark you definitely tell stay in this line yes. all right i'm going a different way to the gas station but uh you can tell it's not as bright out as uh it normally would so this got about 15 ish and it should be pretty dark so So we're gonna pull over because we're not gonna make it to the gas station in time. And I, oh god, I'm gonna scrape. That's what I'm worried about. Don't, don't scrape. Don't scrape. Don't scrape. Oh, that's a steep. That's a steep climb. Don't scrape. Don't scrape. And we're good. So yeah, we're not gonna get to the eclipse in time. So we were wanting to just, I'm oh, sorry, get to the gas station in time. So we're just gonna pull over and wait for all this stuff to happen, and then uh, get back on the road. Park right, perfect spot right here. Zoop.
By the way, you can't see shit with these glasses on. Can't see shit at all. So we're like four minutes away from like total eclipseness, and it's crazy how light it is still out. There's just that much of the sun showing, and it's yeah, it's just like the smallest amount, and it's still as light out as it is. It's crazy. It's crazy. It triggered the street lights. That's kind of cool. It's crazy. It feels like it's like eight o'clock at night right now. Isn't this wild? Look at the clouds. Yeah. Whoa! It just shifted again. Yeah. All right, we got total darkness right now. Look at that. That is crazy. It is. <laughs> it's like it's nine o'clock at night, but it's like 1.30, 1.40 something in the afternoon. She be dark, guys. It is kind of cool. It is kind of cool. It is pretty trippy though, huh? Absolutely yeah. trippy. Look at it, it's like a... I wish you could zoom in more on that. I know. I got a good picture of it. Oh, see it moved a little bit. <laughs> this is so trippy. Imagine like waking up from a nap. <laughs> you wake up from a nap and you're like, how long did I sleep for? And look at your clock and it's like 1.45 in the afternoon. <laughs> how confusing would that be? So if you miss the eclipse here in Dallas, don't worry. The next one in the Dallas-Fort Worth area is in like 300 years. So uh, I don't think I'll be around for that one. Who knows, we could be frozen by then. The next, yeah, the next one total eclipse i think is in like 21 years but uh it's now starting to lighten up a little bit even with the small sliver of the sun so anyway on our way to go get our gas Three seventeen for E eighty five. It's probably the highest price I paid for E eighty five. It's been as low as like I paid like a dollar ninety eight for it like two months ago. Three seventeen. Three seventeen. I blame the eclipse. Got the children safe. All right, so got my E85, got my white girl latte from Dutch Bros. It's a good shit. So the Eclipse, it was cool, but like a lot of people made such a big issue out of it. But if you're able to be in the path of totality and actually experience it, it is pretty cool, but I wouldn't fly in from other areas to go check it out that's just me but at least we got enough sun so where we could actually see it and experience it the clouds held off for the eclipse so that was cool it was just overall it was a cool experience but like i said i wouldn't go out of my way to go check it out so on that note i'm gonna go ahead and close this out if you guys are watching and you're not subscribed please do me a favor hit subscribe drop a like and a comment and as always i'll catch you guys in the next one see ya bye